Hey, how you doing? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this color balance in Lightroom. Now this gives you a really, really nice green look to your images and it's used a lot in movies to portray mood and atmosphere. So it's a really, really simple process. I'm going to walk you through the step. So the first thing you want to do is come up to the crop tool and you want to select 16 by nine. That's going to give us a widescreen vibe to the image. That's what movies are shot in. So I'm just going to bring this down a little bit further just to get rid of this track sign at the top there. Press enter. So now we've got something that's a bit wider. We can create that nude and it look like a movie. So the first thing we want to do is come up to the temperature and we want to bring that up to around plus 20. Again, depending on your image, it will vary. And then the tint, we want to bring this down quite far. So we're in that green range. So around 80 works pretty well. And then we want to come to the exposure and we just want to bring that down by about a stop just to create a bit more mood. And then the contrast, we want to bring that up to 25. And we're going to do the same with the highlights, the shadows and the whites. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring down the blacks just a little bit, just to pump some black into the image so it doesn't create any problems later on. There we go. So around minus 20, 25 looks pretty good. So moving on, we want to come to the vibrancy. We want to push that up to around plus 20. And then we just want to take some of that saturation away just so it's not too overpowering. You can see there that green looks a little bit too overpowering. So let's just bring this down to about minus 10. That looks pretty good. Okay, so next up we want to come to the curves tool and we just want to click at the top here. We just want to pull this down slightly. So we're just bringing blacks into the whites. We're just darkening them whites just a little bit. And then come to the blue. And with this particular one, we want to just push this up a little bit. So we want to introduce a little bit more blue into them highlights rather than yellow. So next up we want to come down to the color grading. So we can skip then parts here, let's just come to the shadows and we want to add some green into these shadows. So let's move this up. We want to look somewhere around 130 to 135 is a good hue and a saturation of about seven will do. And then into the midtones, again, we're going to come into the green sort of area here and we want to be looking at somewhere around 150 mark around that that area there and then again saturation we can push that up to around six yeah, and again it really depend on your particular image where you actually want to place this and then finally let's go to the highlights and within the highlights we want to select uh, a little bit more warmth so somewhere around 30 33 looks good and we can bring that saturation down to about 10 and again you can play with that you can mess around and see what works best for your image and how much saturation you want within that. So let's come down and add just a little bit of sharpening to this. Let's keep the detail at 50 and keep the radius at one pixel. I'm just gonna hold the option key down and just mask this off. So we're just now gonna be sharpening just the white areas there, which are mainly the subjects, the people there. That just makes them pop a little bit. And then to finish it off, I'm going to come down to the bottom here and I'm going to add some grain. So depending on your image and your preference, you can change this. I've pushed the roughness quite high to 50, the size 25, and then I'm going to push this to about 30. And that's just going to add a little bit of grain into the image, which is going to give us a little bit more of that sort of rough look that we're after. And that's it. It's as simple as that. It doesn't take long to do. It's a really, really nice edit. If you look at the before and after, you can see there the difference that it makes. If I just push this out to 60%, you'll be able to see what it does. So that is how you color grade your pictures to look like movies. This is a very common way of creating mood and atmosphere in movies. So it's a good, good uh, way for you to get that in your pictures and create a little bit more interest. So I hope that helps. I look forward to seeing your images. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.